Aha. Uh, I've got us in starting soon. I'm just getting a couple other things going, and then we're ready to go. I probably need to put but, in the actual right game, right? Probably. I think it's kind of funny. I guess because of just due to the success of the like the newer near game, is they're finally releasing a fix for near on Steam. Oh yeah, that is kind of funny. And I was really bummed. Uh, there more information came out about like why the Yakuza like side games, the Judgment games, aren't coming to PC. Mm -hmm. And it's because the like actor who's the main character is actually like a big celebrity in Japan, mm -hmm. and his talent agency called Johnny's doesn't want the game to be released on PC. Mm. Johnny's, you fucks. Yep. But the actor himself has been pretty adamant about like wanting people to be able to get it on PC because he's a PC gamer. Gotcha. And it's blown up to the point that as of right now, they're not going to make another game after Lost Judgment because Sega's like, yo, we want to be able to release PC games. PC games make us money. Mm. And as much as we like having your boy, if you're going to be big butt shits about it. Yeah. All right. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put us into a life boy mode. Ha ha. That's one of the best boy modes. It is. Yeah, hopefully everyone's doing well today. What shirt are you wearing? That looks like <laughs> a lot of Bidoofs. It sure is a lot of Bidoofs. We got fuckloads of Bidoofs. There's a Pikachu down there, too, just hanging out. No, Will, the, the actor wants it on PC. It's the talent agency that he works for is wanting it not to be on PC. Well, well, they're they're super weird in the fact that like the guy who's in the Yakuza games is like their top talent, so he gets a bunch of like exceptions. Like it was allowed to be released that he was married and had kids, but for all of their other talent, they're not allowed to have so social media find out everything or like there is anything to know else where it's like Diane? internet oh, stuff, so that people can like fuck with things. Wait, She's so alive. they don't, don't want. Me. A game with his likeness on the internet. You saved my life. Any more than it would be on a console. Pretty useless. Okay, but also, how are the audio levels, Will? Save Diane. CJ, you were very loud when you got on today, so I turned your volume down. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I hate how loud I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully they're all fine. Awesome. And yeah, then like the game was louder than normal too, so I turned that down a bit. But everything's louder than normal. Okay. World of loud. Hmm. Am I stinky? I should probably change suits just to be safe. Don't be a stinky sussy baka. Oh, looks almost brand new. No problem. So we're good. I can continue to wear the best suit. It is the best. It's the one I put on my little chibi Francis York Morgan. I like that chibi one. Francis York Morgan, though I did notice something. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he doesn't have a scar on his face. Oh, shit, you're right. God damn it. I, I got, like, the little... I got the thing in his eyebrow. I got the little hair thing, and I missed, I missed the fucking scar. Okay, that's fine. It's digital. I can go back and put it in and in post. That's why I was I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like a little kid version of York. So it was like before he got cut by Catwoman, he was out there looking like a pimp solving crimes. Nope, just a just a chibi chibi York. The only way to make York even more adorable. <laughs> I forgot Balin Wonderworld was on Steam. I should have checked to see if that got really cheap during the summer sale. Oh, man. All of her frames. I don't think it was, like, cheap enough to justify buying. 
I'm pretty sure I looked at it. It's already okay. down to twenty dollars on Switch, but even that is way more than it's yeah. worth. I wouldn't pay more than ten bucks for it. Yeah, it like <laughs> that that game. I think they're <clears throat> pretty soon just going to be paying someone so that they don't have to set them all in a dumpster and light them on fire. <laughs> George has asked for permission to... feel really dumb. I actually thought the game was called Balin Wonderland mm -hmm. this whole time, but Surely it's just not. Get home. Yeah. But I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As oh, as where is know, Tomas? There haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... I think Thomas is off murdering again. Um, you, you think Thomas is off murdering? Why? Maybe. Well, we have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. He would be, like, a good person you wouldn't expect. And we never saw his back. I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigation. But I also have no, like, in-game clues that are telling me it's him. It's it's just my my very vague guess based on story structure. Okay, sounds like a plan. Or knowing the tropes of detective stories, I guess. Uh, I was an idiot for thinking you might be a. Good it's gonna get very weird. <laughs> I really need to work on my taste in men. Her eyes freaking me out. Yeah. Wait, did she just creep walk away? She may have. Oh man, free lunch. Hey, Adaraxis. Hey, Adaraxis. It is indeed deadly premonition. The deadliest of premonitions. And Adaraxis is just the dude I was hoping would pop by because I wanted to ask their. Well, I don't know. I'm saying they. <laughs> What were what was your opinion on uh, Resident Evil Infinite Darkness? Oh, I miss yeah. I miss my rockabilly car. It disappeared I have into the no ether. Idea how you get it back? Might just be at his garage. Oh, you yeah. don't want, are you at the hotel or are you at the? I'm like, at the hotel. Oh, okay. I forgot that she shows up at the hotel. Better than the other RACGs. Well, there you go. I'll have to watch oh. it. Oh, don't watch it. Don't watch it. I I have to disagree a little bit with our our Resident Evil bud. I honestly. That's probably the closest I've come to hating a piece of media. Oh, man. And when we did our movie podcast, I made you watch some things that you really fucking hated, so... Oh, what was the one I really hated? I know I hated something. Okay, I, I mean, there were a few. The one that stands out in my mind is uh, Exit Through the Gift Shop. I felt like you really hated that one. But... Uh, I didn't. I didn't hate that one. No, like as far as I think, like it was well done. Mm -hmm. It made me really dislike Mr. Brainwash. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's no, supposed I, to make you like him, but. Yeah, but I, I didn't hate that movie as a movie. Okay. Like, I I think it was like a well done documentary. It just made me upset. <laughs> so like so much of the series, which. I, it's weird calling it a series because it's four episodes like baffled and angered me hmm and it's the not villains. like a thing that's supposed to be in a separate timeline or anything from what I understand like they made a big deal about this was supposed to be canonical hmm and I thought it was supposed to be like the furthest in the future but from how everyone acts it seems like it's I think Adorax has brought it up. It's supposed to be between four and five, hmm. which makes a little more sense given how people react to things happening instead of being like, oh, those are zombies, shoot them. <laughs> but, oh, man. I can't, it's only two hours, so I guess go ahead and watch it. I'm kind of curious. Maybe 
Will and I are the insane ones. Yeah. But PC Gamer, after I watched it, they had I was reading their review for it, and they described it as a terrible Resident Evil cutscene that you can't skip. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. But at least you don't have to keep repeating it because you missed the QTEs. That's true. Definitely not my top tier RE content for sure. I think it's the worst Resident Evil content I've experienced, and that's including, like, the two hours of Dead Aim that I played, which, honestly, I would play that again that's fine by just me. for fun on a stream. I remember liking Dead Aim when I played it as a kid, but... I never played it as a kid. I played it after, um, like, 4, because I just heard, like, oh, this was actually the first game to have over the shoulder, and I was like, this feels like it. Hmm. Damnation. What? What is Damnation? Was that another CG one? Emily, yeah, because I give never me lunch. watched any of those because I was pretty sure all of the CG ones were non-canonical, so that's why I just stayed away from them. Lunch, please. Oh, that does not look good. Oh no, I guess Damnation is also canonical. Okay, because I saw most of Degeneration. Okay, yeah, I guess I must have just... My brain skipped over Damnation. <laughs> it's really loving Emily's cooking. Come on, tell it to me straight. Yes. Oh yeah, because you don't get the good cutscene because we didn't fix her cooking. Yeah. To the sewer once during an investigation. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I've actually never seen this cutscene. <laughs> I mean, Eternal Darkness is great, William. Infinite Darkness is trash. I hope we can get Eternal Darkness to work at some point. Me too. Infinite Eternal, same diff. Oh, man. That's how little I care about it anymore. Because <laughs> I, I feel like Robert might watch it, so I don't want to get too into spoilers and throw too much of my bias, aside from me just already blatantly setting it on fire with my words. But I... I don't know, like, I, I'm i willing to watch things like the live-action movies and be like, this is stupid, but it's action-y and stupid and kind of fun. So, like, I don't know. That it could be really dumb and Darkness I could still is. like it, but... It is not campy and stupid. Okay. And, like, that's why, like, it actively, like, just feels like it's shitting on Resident Evil. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, the, there's really not that much action in it at all. Hmm. It's, I guess the reason I got so upset is I was really excited because to me Capcom has really been on a roll with Resident Evil between Remake 7 and 8. And this is a cool, it's going to be a cool anime to fill the fill the time in my soul before 9 comes out. And then it was just, in my opinion, just really bad. But I'll try my best to stop being a big whiny baby all the time about it. <laughs> I'm actually really bummed Damnation is bad because I was like, I should go back and watch the other ones, but now I know that Adarachnus thinks those are even worse. <laughs> well, we could could do a review of some bad Resident Evil movies. Oh. I feel like it would just be me being angry. Oh man, you should pit maneuver Quint steal his car. Alright. I was going to go to the general and save some time, but we're going to pit maneuver Quint instead. He has the second best car. Give me your car, fool. I hope that's him. <laughs> re recap, CJ yells at a wall. <laughs> Probably that would just be what it is. Oh, I missed. I missed again. 
I have to say probably the biggest downside to starting to get over my depression is the fact that I feel feelings again and <laughs> I'm like, ah oh, man, there's so many things that I disliked that I didn't realize I disliked when I was swimming in a mire of my own emotion. I'm gonna try and just push him into the pavement like I did with uh, Lily's car. But so we already know he has ghost powers. That's true. Oh, well, what is his license plate? I'm trying say? to see. The The issue is if I get close enough to see it, the hood of this car covers it up. Damn it, this car. Okay. It's going to sound a lot darker than I mean it, but when I stopped drinking, the worst part was having opinions on things. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel you. I never had that, but, like, yeah, just... I used to just feel kind of numb all the time, so I would like stuff and be like, oh, that's nice. But when stuff was bad, it was more just like, oh, everything's bad all the time, so who cares? But now that I think I gener gen generally feel positive most of the time when I hit a negative thing, it just feels like it hits more than it's ever hit before, and I'm like, what's mm. happening? Why is Leon being such an asshole? Well, I think Quint got away from us. Oh, man. I am excited for the new live-action movie, because they announced who they uh, cast as Wesker. Oh, yeah? And I, man, I'm trying to remember what his name is. He's the dude from the, the Toys Are Me sketch. I don't know what that is. Um, Lance Reddick. Yeah, that's who his name Uh... I can't remember what Toys R Me is actually from. Yes, he he plays a Charon in a, a Karin in the John Wick movies. Gotcha. It's been oh, long okay, enough since I watched them. I don't have like a clear picture in my head, but he's a uh, he's a black guy. Is he's bald, kind of thin. He has like a very distinct like way of speaking. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to do some other stuff. He was in. Uh, I guess you don't play Destiny. That's Will recognized him as Zafala from Destiny. Gotcha. Yep, I do not play Destiny. That is true. You're not missing anything. <laughs> it's yeah. I don't think it would be my cup of tea. This would be a weirder one, because I know you liked Alan Wake. Did you play Quantum Break at all? Uh-uh. Okay, he's a character in that as well. He's exclusively in things that I haven't seen. That's his uh, MO. He was, on, he, was on, he was in Fringe, and he was in The Wire. I have not seen either of those. I do want to watch The Wire, because I hear it's really, really good. But I'm going to assume you also haven't seen Oz. That is correct. In all the John Wick movies, Let's see any of these movies? Uh, he was in the new Old Boy. Did you see that? Nope. I heard it was oh. terrible, though. I heard it was more like. Oh, hey, he has that quest. He does. You mentioned time to buy your car. <laughs> customize my car. Mm, oh no! Wait, no. This is still I getting some parts. I think. Yeah. With a boost. A larger tank would mean you can go farther like with TV one shows. fill up. That would be great. In which case, you need to find a scrap. I I definitely liked I the older movie more, but I thought the remake was like N5, inoffensive. The last enhancement you can make to your vehicle. So get out there and find it. Really, okay, television. Man, he did a lot of voice acting that I didn't realize. There you go. Crap. Where am I going? General, tell me where I'm... Tell me which... Where's the part? In five. Got it. I'll be over this away. Oh, man. All those Vin Diesel memes. Just F9 last night. 
It's a movie that was made. <laughs> oh, Fast and Furious 9. For as much as that movie is about bananas, I really feel they missed a chance since the movie was called F9 not having a part where like they ride a car through a tornado. <laughs> See if I cannot blow myself up. I mean the the not blowing yourself up with the flamethrower challenge. Yep. Live on good gaming with bad people. These speedrun strats are so lit. <laughs> well, that sentence hurt my mouth. <laughs> All right, General. I found the thing. It was like. 20 yards away. You could have got this yourself. Well, his legs aren't real, so he can't walk. This is it. This Does that mean that, like, even at night, he just lives in this Imbecile. chair? Imbecile. Shut up and listen to your Like, how does well, he get he, inside? He flops onto the ground and does, like, a worm motion and slithers story. in through the door. Oh, okay. Like, not by opening it, but, like, mm. under the crack. Mm. That's All kind of impressive. All were removed in Vietnam. It was thick. I was up he just turns that. into the T2 Terminator. Yeah. But he always wins at Limbo. Weakened by hunger and mm. thirst. I was been able to stream, stream much lately. Death was closing in. I could feel it. We were both reading. <laughs> Quantic <laughs> Dreams. Oh my goodness. I know that name. Wait, isn't that... They're the, aren't those all the David Cage games? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I haven't played any of them. I know they're pretty famous slash infamous. If it would be possible, I would actually really love to do a co-op playthrough with you of um, Beyond Two Souls. Oh, yeah? Heavy Rain is honestly pretty alright. Beyond Two Souls is kind of weird and stupid, but okay. And then I really didn't like Detroit Become Who Made. Hmm. Like, David Cage is not a good writer, and they're not really games, in my opinion. But... My opinion is not worth a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if your game is like only going on story, you gotta have a good writer. I guess luck was on. I actually don't know that much about David Cage as a person, other than he was kind of creepy, and he was like, "Hey, Ellen Page, I made a scrapbook of you as a child." Hmm. That is kind of weird. And then. I guess he was implicit in the yeah, fact that they right. fully nude modeled her in the game. For you. Time for your final customization. But like, I don't think there's any point where you see her naked. It's just if you use codes and stuff, you can. Oh, he's floating with his ghost legs. He's got to like he's ready to haul ass out of there. Yeah. Time kept flowing for him, and he kept moving up in rank. But inside but. of him. Time stopped a long time ago. We didn't get any. One of those artists who think doesn't them. understand how other artists don't yeah, live in his brain. The hmm. of this town. I could believe that. Let's leave him alone. I doubt he knows. Oh, in, in, in Indigo there. Prophecy or Fahrenheit, wherever you're from in the world, that was also pretty all right. <laughs> That'll increase the amount of gas your car can but carry. I didn't you're play any of those games man. until I had already played a lot of they other games, so the concept of, of quick time events was no longer it novel at that point, and they were kind of I annoying. Mm. And laugh. Ha 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 ha. He told me Wait, to did laugh. Wait, he just yell the word laugh? Yep. Ooh, another quest already. Oh. Uh, I think that's to get your car. If I remember Give the me list. my car. General, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? Before you ask, though, I can't customize your car anymore. Can no, you not give it to me? Can Can I have my car? I heard you've got my other car here. Yeah, you're going to have to wait 24 to hours. Your car? So that high-spec beauty was yours. Yes. I was wondering... You know, if you could fix it up for me. I won't mind if it costs me a bunch to get it repaired. Quite important to you, is it, this car? <laughs> Very well, then. If you're willing to pay, I'll do the work for you. I will pay. Eat my money. Hope you're ready to go fast like Sanuk. I really am. I also forgot we talked about playing Shadow the Hedgehog. 
Okay, so is it... Do I give him the money today? Yeah, okay. I do. Yeah, it's like you just purchase it. Repair my Buy car. Okay, thank you very much. Gonna Gotta go I fast. Think that's the most expensive it. item in the game. Go and get a good night's sleep and come back soon, why don't you? Once it's done, I'll put it out front. Just use this key and take it. I got the key to my Don't own worry. car. I may not look it, but I'm pretty darn good. Yeah, at why wouldn't it. York take his own car key? Yeah. Well, now you don't have to buy Quint's car. Yep. Oh, by chance, is the is the rockabilly car in his inventory again? Oh, yeah, I guess I can look for it there. Let's see. That's a good question. A Guten question. Oh, nope. Don't want to buy that. Let's see. Nope. It's just disappeared into the aether. Also, did it say you could buy Kaysen's car? It did, yeah. What? Did Kaysen just leave a car here last time he was here? And he's like, oh, I guess this, it's not mine anymore. Yeah, this doesn't look like it. You know what? We've got a lot of money and a day to drive something else. Let's find out what Kaysen, what car Kaysen left here. Oh, nope. It is his truck. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it has the dog house in it. We could kidnap Willy. It could be our dog. Oh, man. We could just steal Kaysen's identity. We could do that. I feel like the issue, though, is that I, I don't know how to say Dalmatian. I mean, if you tried your best and worked on it, I think you could overcome that disability. <laughs> Dalmatian. The same way that I learned how to say Bug has big gun without just <laughs> shitting my own mind's pants. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so what should I work on now? Should we just do plot things? Uh, I mean, that's there's definitely side quests you can be doing, but at this point, yeah, it's really just what you want to do. Yeah, we'll see if there's any appealing side quests. Okay, and we're in chapter 14 right now. Yes. Let's see. Someone in the forest. Someone is walking in Anna's forest in the early afternoon. Wait, didn't we do this already? Oh, I didn't talk to the twins again. Nope. Okay, where are the twins? I remember... <coughs> Oh, it said that usually they're at Keith's house. Is that oh. a quest there? There is, yeah. Huh. Well, Keith is at the grocery store. They would be at his house, though. I was saying, that's what I remember looking, is that they're often at Keith's house. Mm -hmm. I'm betting they're out in the woods again. I like that it also tracks Forrest Kaysen's dog. Yep, they're out there, out there in the forest. Oh yeah, you can do Jim's quest to um, get the super fishing pole. Mm, okay. Well then, we're gonna go be woodland boys, just like Will. Let's hope we don't get hypothermia sleeping in a soupy sleeping bag. <laughs> At this point, I would take anything that isn't being as hot as it is now. One soupy hypothermia, please.
No human mind is designed to understand the tone of this game. <laughs> Man, I felt like I was about to do some sweet rap lyrics there for a second. Yeah. I mean, no one's stopping you. Oh, I, I like my my own lack of musical coordination is. I think this is where they... Yeah! Oh, it's Sigourney. Oh, and I just hit her with my car. We'll take Sigourney uh, home, though. Oh, uh, will Kazen's truck be fast enough to do it? Make her sit in the doghouse. Mm. Sigourney, get in the doghouse. Hey, Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, <laughs> let's get going. Oh, yes, okay. I need to get to know the pot better first. That's right. Now hurry She's gonna up. spill what's My ever in there. She cold. really is. Zach, this is all for getting to know the pot better. Now, get the car going. I'm getting the car going. Yeah, and I know where your house Three, is. Two, one, <laughs> she counts me down. Oh yeah, she does. Red to read. <laughs> is a pretty great license plate. Although I don't know if they're if they're just trying to do the thing of red tree, you just have red tree. Yeah, I, like I'm sure that is what they were trying to do, but but why they decided on red to re instead? I mean, it's sort of beautiful, though. My pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry. Step oh my God, Sigourney! So Am I? I'm not cold. driving safely. I'm hitting the NAS, Double. Sigourney. Oh wait, that's right. If you click the NAS button, does it make a noise? Nope. You Only on the, the police car. And trading clothes. Yeah. I guess it trading clothes, but that's fine. I don't know if Kaysen's actually has the NAS, though. No, but it does have a very pointy steering wheel. I'd cut my fingers on it. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing my best, Sigourney. We're almost there. What do you hope is in her pot? Oh, there's something inside of it. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Pozole? I would be excited if there was Pozole in the pot. Doesn't Pozole have beans in it? No, it uses hominy. At least, I don't think there's any beans. I don't know. I've never had any problems eating it. All right, we're here. Now you can yell at me for talking at you too long. Oh, thanks to you, my pot is still warm. I did my best. So does the pot have anything to say? Why don't that you does ask look pretty yourself? good. Well, yeah. do you hear it? I hear it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Teacher, you know. That's when I realized the truth of the pot. They should not let you teach children. All those students. It's like looking into a pot full of Oh my god, it's children in the pot. Oh, that got darker than what I thought. In fact, I think I'm getting farther away from understanding. Did you ever have to read that storybook when you were in school called Stone Soup? I do remember that. I don't remember what happened in it, but I for sure remember a thing called Stone Soup. I don't remember if the message of the story is supposed to be like, ah, uh, good things happen when a community comes together. Wait, I got Emily's car? Oh, man. 
I think so. The tough chat. Hey, Trevor. I should go out. My Trevor. car dies. Refuses to start. Tried jumping. It didn't work. Didn't even try and kick. Went. Got a battery. Praying that it was a bad cell. Starts up. Dies. Alternator at that point. Stuck in the gas pump. Strip that off and go get a new one. Put it in. The pump starts up. I get gas. Go to pull out and belt snaps. Who boy. That That's sounds like an ordeal of a day. Well, I'm Don't make it sorry worse that happened. spicy food. It's so tasty though, CJ. Yeah, but... Alright, let's take Emily's car. <laughs> Emily's license plate is I love mom. Or no, plate. I love mauve. What is Mav? What? Ha. Huh. Mav. Well, like I love move. Maybe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been such a rough day, Trevor. Well, hopefully it'll get better. I'm trying to think of anything that I know about Emily that might be what Mav is. Oh, okay. What it is is it's I love move and it's supposed to be I love movies. <laughs> gotcha. It's been over three fifty dollars. That sucks. Oh. Oh god. Caslambos. Caslambos indeed. A new alternator, anyway. new battery, and new belt. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully Basically that's all the car, car repairs. Do it. But, uh... Mm -hmm. Getting back to the literary masterpiece that is Stone Soup. That what happens in the story is this kid's like, Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna make, like, this magical soup. Mm -hmm. And all I need to do is put a rock in it. He just puts this like rock into this big cauldron of boiling water in the middle of oh man, you're gonna t-bone this car. Ugh. In the middle of town. And for some stupid reason, people just from around the town start coming and be like, you know what? I'm gonna throw these ingredients that I don't need. Some people come throw vegetable, meat, all the stuff. And by the end of the day, there's this massive cauldron of soup and everyone gets to eat it. So I don't know if the story is supposed to be about like the importance of community and sharing or about mm -hmm. how this one fucking kid came in and just got free food from all these dumb idiots by throwing rock into hot water. Tricked, yeah. Cashier came out like, you're working on it here? I said, yeah, where else am I going? Car has no electric. I said, oh, and went back in. Got him. <laughs> Was it at an auto zone? It's a cautionary tale about <laughs> capitalist exploitation. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. I'm digging these Emily jams. I can't even hear the car. Do I need to turn the game volume up? Uh, maybe not. I just have it down a little low. Oh, gotcha. On, I'm talking to you on Discord. Makes sense. Hi, Kason. Oh, shit, Kason. He's, oh, you should have drag raced him in his own truck. Yeah, but I'm in Emily's truck now. Yeah, I know. So I just we've... abandoned his truck that I paid $3,000 for like it was nothing. What is it like to literally ball so hard? <laughs> Feels pretty good. Do you have enough to buy an entire box of candy from children? <laughs> Probably. Nice. I don't know if anyone here knows what I'm talking about, and that's 100% okay. I'm guessing, like the overpriced candy bars that kids sell door to door is that what you're talking about oh yeah it's it's part of it i 
I hope that wasn't Lily that I passed taking the kids back. Wait, is that? I doubt it. It's pretty jangly. Is that a functioning GPS on the dashboard? <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. It might actually be, because this road is curvy like the one that it's showing there. That would be a super weird detail for this game to do correctly. It would indeed. But it oh, would not. Is open. Yeah. It would not be the first time that this game made a super weird decision. That's fine by me. That is that is very factually accurate. Hunter ham, get in my mouth. Hey Jim. <laughs> Been reading the same book for many years. My wife gave it to me when I was young. I sat, it sat on the bookshelf for a long time, but I found it again after she died. Once I started reading, it was like she was beside me again. So I read a little every day now. We always want things our own way, don't we? Some things we want to forget, others we want to remember forever. You'll tend to think about these things a lot once you're old. Let's see what book his wife gave him. Oh, no, I don't want to point a flamethrower at him. Okay. What, what book did your wife give you, Jim? It's called Liar's House. <laughs> Makes sense. So I believe to trigger his mission, you have to fish at the location that's closest to his house. Gotcha. Because there's like three on the on the thing, but hmm. it's bust in here. Kids, where are you? I can't. I can't get in through the door. Probably oh, should have tried to get in here. Can't break into where the kids live. Nope. Oh, do you want some Choreos? I love Choreos. How about some meat? Mm, it's my. I love or meat. some do they orange. Have any frosted florks? I don't see any frosted florks. There is orange, though. Do you want orange? Oh, man. If only they had purple. If only. Let's see. Take orange. <laughs> I this would game take feels orange like, if I could. This, I mean, I say, this town feels like there's probably someone in here who's gotten scurvy in like the last five years. Yeah. Also, what? What is? What is this? It's it's a corn. Is it? It's uh, corn. Is it bullets? Is it acorns? It's bullet corn. I just want to make sense of like what's going on in this house. There's a semi-illiterate old man remembering his ghost wife through the power of books. Yeah. Gotta count your almonds. I guess so. I only count my almonds when they're Jordan almonds. That's to make sure that Will is stealing them. You know Will's stealing him. He he hoards all the Jordan almonds. You almond he hoarding fuck. Oh. I was a tad more aggressive than I wanted to go, but we'll we'll go into it. I'm standing up for your for your uh, almonds. I don't know why I almost said olives. I mean, he also is just like, oh man, are those pimentos? Get out of here. And then he just throws them into the street. And I'm like, but my pizza. Oh, I was going to come fish here, but I don't think I have bait. Dang it. Wait, was that sign say? It looks like there's a man just falling over in it. Uh, let me check and see if... Oh, I do have one knife worm. Is this the one I'm supposed to fish at? I, I don't know. It says the one closest to his cabin, so I would actually probably think the one's down the shore more. Okay, because there's a little cabin here, but that's probably not what it's talking about. Yeah, I think it's his personal cabin. Okay. Oh, right. Let's look at the sign. Let's check it out. Wait. This sign? 
Yeah. Velvet Falls. Hit it big in the Velvet oh. Falls fishing area. Man, my brain. Is there another sign to the... Oh, no, I think there's another one down there. Mm. Let's see. Oh. Danger. Avoid entering the river. Okay, I knew I wasn't nuts. I was like, I thought I saw like an outline of a man doing a header into the ocean. <laughs> Oh, did, wait, was that a fish jumping out? Oh, no, it's like a leaf. Oh, that looked like there was totally a fish that jumped out of there. I don't know what it was. Mass hysteria. <laughs> Do you like... Have you ever gone fishing? Yeah, when I was a kid. Part. It's been a long time, though. I think I would enjoy a lot of things about fishing, but I don't think I'm a person who could, like, take the hook out of a fish after I caught it. Gotcha. I guess I probably only needed to fish once, right? Yeah, I thought... Does he maybe have fishing. to be out here? Uh, I'll look it up. Any excuse to get out of town? There you go. That's the thing. Like, I feel like sitting by a river all day, just like throwing the fishing line in and kind of chilling out would be really relaxing. But then when I caught that fish and he was there wriggling around and he had a hook in his face that I had tricked him into putting there, I would feel bad. And also, would I don't know if I could like rip a hook out. Okay, there are fish in the lake. Okay, oh, all right. Yeah. He does have to be out here. No, it has to be raining. Oh, oh of, box. of course. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god. Okay. Pink box. I'll take it. I don't remember what's in the pink box. I what? I caught a green gym. What is a? No, it says you count a gym green. What is a gym green? If I have to get, that's the name of the grandpa is Jim Green, is you probably caught his trading card. Oh. Weird. But yeah, you have to, when it's, yeah, it's actually, I think, this spot, the one that you're running past right now, when it's raining, there'll be a new icon in, like, the lineup of what you can catch, and you have to catch that, and then that'll prompt the quest to start. Gotcha. Like all things in this game it has to be raining first and it doesn't seem like it'll rain again until chapter 16 by the lake yeah we should have done the emily thing to get rain control but here we are oh god i almost heart attacked myself okay i need i need to get to those kids to complete this quest Hi, Jim. Give us your kids. I'm going to break into the room. Okay. Well, we... This will work, right? Yes. This is a good way to get into the room of, <laughs> of children. It's honestly the only way to get in. Uh, there should be another mission for the Milk Barn, which will then lead into the second mission line. Okay. Oh, yeah. The weather must be rainy to start and end this quest. Wrap up here at work. Be lurking. Well, thank you for coming by and for chatting, and we appreciate yes, the lurk. Yes, sir. What is this painting over here? Hmm. Looks like something a child would make. It does look that way. 
now if we're gonna get those kids out of there we're gonna need some capri suns and then those like bread stick and cheese dip like snack pack things mm. you put in their lunches yep that might do the trick well we can get them at the milk bar nice our milk barn I always preferred the variant where it was like a flat Ritz cracker and you had like a red spreadable knife. Hmm. Oh god. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh no. That was a lot that, of flips. That was a lot of flips. That didn't really do that much damage to your truck though. Nope. Thanks, power of movies. <laughs> Indeed. All right, well, time to drive with Reckless Abandon again. Oh. I am underground. You know I'm underground, Will. Oh. But are you Sonic underground? I am. Aw, oh, man. Oh, this road is beating the shit out of your car. It really is. But we're in it to win it. We gotta get to the milk barn and buy some Dunkaroos. Oh god, did you just flip the car forward? I think I may have. At least you can look at your tie now. I can look at my tie now. The best tie. What about hentai? Oh, that is a pretty good tie. I was going to ask if you think they make hentai ties, but I am very confident that someone does. I know 100% that they at least make the tie where it's like, like the Ahigo the... face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I just go backwards? I think I just went backwards. Well, damn. I wonder if it set you back on the road, like facing up. Yeah, I could have. If it wasn't so ridiculously expensive and I had money to burn, mm -hmm. as well as being able to afford going to like the dentist and the doctor for checkups, I would buy Will that full set of sweatpants, hoodie, and shoes that are all the Higo faces. Yeah, you could for sure get those cheap on AliExpress. Oh man, Tom Bomb! Hey, hey Tom Bomb! Car does indeed go for him. Because it's almost your birthday, and I want to give you something to remember me by. Happy birthday to Will. I was trying to think of a funny second line, but here we are. What was that? What I can get them cheap on what site? AliExpress. It's like Chinese Amazon, so it's going to take infinity years to ship to you. But, like, I bet you could get one for like 5 or $10 tops. Let's see, a Higo hoodie. Uh, well, the there's the one that they have is a, that's twelve dollars, but they definitely have some on here that are like five twenty four mm -hmm. to like seven bucks. Yeah. Well, well, you can claim that you don't want it all you want, but it sounds like you might be getting it. I just looked up the camera quietly and started shaking my head, and then I realized it wasn't <laughs> on, so now I feel like a doofus. Do you want me to do it for you? Just Yes. Like that? Yep. Oh, oh. a question. What question do you have? We do answer questions. You wouldn't wear it once on stream? Come on, Will. Come on. I'm here with a shirt covered in bedoofs. <laughs> that is some the emphatic only reason I'm knowing. Not wearing, would you wear it, Robert, if I got it for you for your birthday? Oh, man. That is, like, a lot. I, I get why Will doesn't... You know what? That That's a ranch thing I would do. I don't know that I would just wear Ahigo clothing. Because <laughs> I feel like that's a lot. 
But I will humiliate myself and in place of a ranching. If you get me a Hiko clothing. Okay. Oh man, it costs more to ship it than for the shirt itself. Mm, that doesn't surprise me, I guess. Well, I don't think I'll be buying anyone a Higo clothing. Fair enough. Yeah, I think, like, just because international shipping is so expensive right now. But. Because they used to just, like, be able to ship stuff via e packet, which was super cheap. But I'm sure it's probably not as cheap anymore. <sighs> Yo, dude. I don't think there's a oh. new quest here right now. Yeah, Lily's supposed to give you one more block pushing puzzle, and then you'll get another one. Can I go to America and go? Can I have Boa Wata and Cheetos are called Watsits? Hmm. I, it feels like Boa Wata is like a, an uwu thing for bowl of water, and Cheetos in England are called cheesy Watsits. Hmm. But I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, if you want to come here and have cheese, Cheetos, bro, we got you, got you. But also in America, you can do anything you want. So if you want to come here and have Boa Wata and what's it? You can do that. Because America. That is true. Just bring us some Walker crisps. Because I want to try the prawn crisps that everyone shits on all the time. What's it? Not flipping Cheetos. Oh, man. I don't think you can really buy what's it? Like, domestically. Are they, like, exactly the same as Cheetos? They're just called what's it? Yeah. Or are they different? No, exactly the From same. From what I've seen, like, just look, I've only seen, like, the puffy version of them. But, yeah, they're just, like, puffy Cheetos. Gotcha. Do you want to buff out your car that you're almost dead inside of? Yeah, I guess. I really don't... I don't really want to... Okay. This is fine. We'll get our car spit on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We'd ha we would get sexy dance hat. <laughs> yep. But instead, we're going to get spit on. Which is equally hot if you're into that thing. You know what? I'm... I as not hot as this getting my car spit on is, it's hotter than the sexy dancing. <laughs> hey Kyle. Oh man, we have become the party people now because bro's here. <laughs> Indeed. All right, we're gassed up, we're repaired up. We've been called the craphead. We're good to go. Same as normal cheese Cheetos, but called Wetsits. Well, there you go. Well, hmm. I guess maybe we go up to the mountains and just make time pass until the kids emerge, and then we can end the quest. I don't know if there's anything else we can work on. Um, I mean, it has to rain, so I don't know. No, no, this is just turning in the quest to them. Does it have to yeah, rain? It has, it has to rain for them to be out so you can talk to them. No, like, Lily's eventually going to come pick them up, though. I'm looking at the page on the thing, and it says it needs to be raining for them to be talk -toable. I mean, we, we got this quest from them while they were in a car that was in the pavement. I only have the power of the words that are in front of me. I guess I'm just saying I feel like it's worth trying. I don't know. Like, there's not much I'm else not we can do unless that. we're going to do story stuff. This is a free country of guns. We can do whatever we want. That's true. All right. Well, let's go do story stuff then. Free country. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming to hang out. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. What is the weirdest insult you've ever been called? You know, I think we talked about about this, but not on stream before. So this wasn't a thing that was called, but a thing that was said to me when I worked as the assistant manager at a certain Halloween costume store that is seasonal. And this guy wanted to do a return and I wouldn't let him do the return because our policies said no and as at, he like rage walked out of the store and then turned around and told me that I could go fuck myself in another century I remember this oh, man. which just like I don't even know what that means do you think he meant in the future or in the past I, I really don't know. Well, let's play it out both ways. If you had to go back to 1921 and fuck yourself, what would you do? Like, is there another me that's just getting teleported there? Because if I'm going back to 1921, I don't exist there. No, like, it's, it's just however you as a singular person are going to fuck yourself. Wait, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, like, putting something in your butt or masturbating, I guess, would be the equivalent of fucking yourself. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I'm either going to the future or to the past to fuck myself? Well, I want to know what you're going to do on both sides of that weird time coin. Okay. Hmm. Past is honestly the more difficult one. Future's easy, because you know there's going to be some crazy fucking sex toys. Like, future's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll go fuck myself in the future any day of the week. But past, you probably need to get more creative. You also have to watch out for polio. You do also have to watch out for polio. Um... Mr. Francis York. I mean, I guess you can just Mr. Stewart go to the past and jerk it, but that feels you kind of boring. <laughs> I don't know. They, I guess they probably didn't have a bunch of, like, lotions and shit in the past, though, right? No, they just had smooth rocks. Smooth rocks. They had butter. Can you uh, can true. you jerk it with butter? Please be kind. <laughs> have Please have some kidding. popcorn dick. That feels like a weird like thing you would say in like a I can't believe it's not butter commercials like yeah, but can you jerk it with butter? <laughs> you can with margarine and then just Fabio just cranking it. I want I want to see that commercial. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, I guess it's time for Michael to be weird. Yep. Oh, okay, I guess not. What does it say on the piano? Beechestein. Let's see what paintings we got going on in here. Any good art? Ooh, he's got a painting of apples or cake. I think apples. Are those just more delicious cookies? They could be. It will make me very happy if he has the delicious cookie banana painting. That would be like a pretty big mindfuck if I bit into a banana, but then it like the cross section was just chocolate chip cookies. That would be awesome. Oh, I would love it, but I would definitely like from that point on be like, oh man. Yeah. Okay, this had a red on it, so this is important. Three. Eroica. Five. Fate. Six. Pastorale. Of the multitude of musical scores, these three are the only ones left open. 
if Harry did this, it must have a meaning. Look around through the mansion. This mansion's feeling like a place that I'm going to be fighting some Zambos in. What a mansion. Maybe we can shave. What would you do if, like, you had a guest over and then they, like, left the door open and went into your bathroom and just started shaving in there? Like, a random stranger or, like, if one of you guys was over here? Yeah, it's like a friend. It's someone you've invited over. So maybe let... It's not... I'm going to say not a good friend, but, like, someone you know. Like... Like, I guess the, I would probably just be like, oh, are you shaving in there, bud? Okay. Because, cause like, York's here for kind of detective businessy purposes, right? So I'm going to say the, like, equivalent that maybe you would run into would be, like, someone came to install cables or something. Cable. Oh, like, okay, well, that'd be, like kind of like a stranger person i yeah. would be like i would be like what are you doing let them finish and then depending on how well of a job they did like if mm -hmm. they nailed installing cables and everything was great i wouldn't say anything more but if they did a shitty job and made a mess i would complain and be like the cable words aren't fucking shaving that's good to let people finish i mean i'm not gonna like slap the the gillette razor out of his hand Okay, so I'm thinking we need to grab the items from that's guest room number from the rooms that match the numbers on the symphony. This is guest room number five, because when I went into five, it had a red umbrella thing in it. So let's take the umbrella. Where did it go? There it is. I got umbrella for guest room number five. checks out guest room number six that should be the pastorale i got umbrella for guest room number six all right and then here's guest room number three that's the last one on our list This guy's got a big old beard. Burn it. Ask and it shall be done. Yeah. It would be funny if you could actually catch stuff on fire. I got umbrella for guest room number three. And now I'm guessing I have to go in here and put the umbrellas in the umbrella shorts. Or oh. chaps. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Okay, I wish I knew which of these statues was which one. I guess maybe I just have to go oh, observe. Statue Calvary apparently looks like it was meant to hold something. A Springfield rifle, perhaps. Well, let's do room number three. We'll just assume it's left to right. Oh, damn. I liked oh, that noise, spooky. though. All right. I hope you're ready for Dollar Store Resident Evil. You know I am. What was that Resident Evil game that you said... Like, was coming out on PC? Uh. It was. It's not Resident Evil. It's, like, supposed to be an homage to the old ones. Oh, you were talking about. uh, Tortured Souls. I pre ordered yeah. it for Switch, but yeah. Okay, you already pre ordered it? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I hope it ends up being good so the pre order wasn't a waste <laughs> of money, but. I mean, even if it's a bag of 
dog poopy, hopefully it'll be fun. Or funny to laugh at, I mean. That is true. It's a game that's supposed to be like the developer's goal was to make like a spiritual successor to Resident Evil, sort of, I think. Or at least something, a game that felt in that same genre of games. Like the older Resident Evils. If you wanted to meet with me, you could have just let me in. We didn't have to do all this umbrella stuff. Mr. Francis York Moore, please have some tea while you clearly don't understand so umbrella stuff. Will make it yeah, I guess so. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. Mr. Francis York Morgan, some tea with sugar is what's best in my view. By your body, okay. so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. Drink the drugs. <laughs> oh, that's red seeds. Harry, where did you get these seeds? Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there than you see when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk. Actually find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Bruh, you can't rhyme place with place. So you would like to play games. If Pitbull can rhyme Kodak with Kodak, anything is possible. <laughs> Fair enough. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. Is it a graveyard? I'm betting it's a graveyard. I nailed that chapter. Well, we didn't have to fight zombies, but we did get to see Nightmare Eye statues. And that's what it's all about. Yep. Zach, let the treasure hunt begin. It's a crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zach? It must be the graveyard. There's I already people. figured it out. None of them can speak. See? You didn't need to tell me. So let's get going to the graveyard. Didn't even give me a chance. I hope the sequel has a bit more, like, actual detective-y stuff you need to do. Yeah. Me too. Oh. I'm a really good driver. I feel like that was a bit in another game that we were playing where you kept being like, I'm a very good driver. Maybe. Wasn't that a line in Rain Man? Oh, that it is It is a line in Rain Man, but I 
feel like we talked about it in something else. Rob go vroom real good. I sure do. Few people vroom better than Robert. So it is said. Take this car up to infinity miles per hour. Where we're going, we don't need roads. And even tails miles per hour can't stop me. Got him. Everything always comes back to Sanic. <laughs> sure does. It's as inescapable as a heart attack. Does that mean I'm going to have a heart attack? We all are. I don't like it. Unless we all don our Ahigo clothing. That's the only defense. Oh no. <laughs> that would be really funny if that was what you had needed to protect yourself from COVID instead of masks. Man, that would just drastically change the landscape of the world. It really would. I don't know if it would be for the better or worse, though. If just Excuse anime me, became, say. like, it's way more point. prevalent and <laughs> almost a medical necessity. Yeah. Hey, creepy hey, guy. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? <laughs> is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. That one right there. I did it. I solved the mystery. And that one, too. All red seeds. We did it. The killer has been caught. It was these trees all along. What's it like to be the greatest detective? <laughs> Pretty good. Uh oh, it might be Zambo time. Yep. I can't believe we've played all this time and haven't been out oh. past midnight. Great, amazing. Oh, does something happen when you're out past midnight? Yep. Mm. Amazing. Bullseye. Amazing. Bullseye. Yes. Bullseye. Amazing. Bullseye. That zombie Amazing. has a shotgun. Yes. They will sometimes have shotguns. Bullseye. Great. Have you ever fired a gun in real life? Yeah, I fired Bullseye. a shotgun actually. Nice. Out at like an uncle's house, we shot at clay pigeons shot. with shotguns. Great. I did not hit shot. any of them. Great. Was it cool shooting a shotgun? That was just fine. Oh my god! Can you can you guys just let me through? Ah! Why aren't you burning them with fire? The fire is slower than the machine gun. That is 
science. Okay. It's by Francis York Morgan Groove Noise. Feel good. I'm ready to be a professional voice actor. Hire me, Funimation. That mission accomplished. Let's get back. That's to a house. lot of seeds. The reward better be good. Don't put them in your butt, Francis. But you know about these seeds? They were right here under my nose. They sure were, because we it's literally came out to this graveyard before. While walking in a pool, we're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. Sure. Common sense, like, if you're looking for red seeds, maybe look on the ground when you walk through the graveyard full of red seed trees. That doesn't really check out. <laughs> I think I got all the stuff back there, but... Yep. Hi, Doggo. Okay, I still have to go back the other way. This is just how this graveyard works. You cannot enter through the main gate. You cannot pass go, and you cannot collect $200. Unless there's a trading card on the ground. Unless there's a trading card on the ground. Oh, med kits. Yep, yeah, I think we're probably full on med kits, though. Well, then why not just eat that med kit to have full health and then pick up another one? That's all the way back there now. Oh my god. I'm not worried. You haven't even fought one of the bosses yet. I killed a Ringu girl. That's true, you lit up that Ringu girl horde. And I do suspect that bosses will be susceptible to the same. I will say the other bosses will not be like that at all. Okay. They will be video game bosses. Mm. As in shoot the weak point when there's an opening. Yes, they, it won't just be like, cool, I can just keep burning you to death all the time. Gotcha. Keith! Oh, man. Spoilers, Keith is behind everything. Keith, you fuck! His rockabilly schmuck attitude was just a disguise. Indeed. He's here to steal all the guns and cheesy <laughs> what's-its. Oh, man. And replace them with Chorios. <laughs> that orange. was his plan all along. He needs to do all this so he can raise enough money to pay off the lawsuits for having Maxwell help copy and, uh... Cottonelle. Yeah, it sounds like... Oh, is it Charmin? But yeah, Cottonelle. Oh, man, did you just bump into the milk barn van i did it's flying right now it's hovering like a few inches off the ground it's back on the ground now there we go really as it should be where are the children like i said i think they oh that cost me forty dollars it was worth it if it if it only cost forty dollars to run someone over i feel like that would be more of a thing in real life. Yeah. Yeah, like if if you wanted to murder someone IRL or even just wanted to hurt them and it like the only repercussion was that it cost you forty dollars, people definitely would do that. I don't think I would do that, but people would. 
I also Will don't have. feel like I would do that. You know those grandpas yeah, would be in danger. Well, that's the thing, though. He's only into it for the illegal thrill. Mm. If he had, if he knew he could just pay some money and get away with it, he wouldn't. Nothing will. We weren't saying that you would run grandpas over if it only cost you forty dollars. Will had a, I don't know if he wants to tell the story, a run-in with a grandpa today. Oh, yeah? With cars. Mm. Old man backed into your car today. And you were like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, old man. And then you did it. Nah, he just bought asparagus and Aldi. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Almost no damage, so I told him not to worry about it after making sure he was okay. Because you were going to follow him home and murder him. I know your game, William. That's also part of it. He is you can't plan too far ahead, or it doesn't feel like a spontaneous fun thing. Mm. It's only if he happens to be going past a a retirement home. <laughs> I mean, you can't even get into those right now, though. But Will is a master of disguise. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see my new sign? Oh, uh, I can't, I see it's a Bidoof, but I can't really read what it says. It says Bidoof Zone, or Caution Bidoof Zone. I thought it was going to be, like, this big. I was going to put it here, and then it showed up, and it was enormous, so. There's a lot of Bidoof to fit on that sign. There sure is. I also, well, you know what, you gonna... if we're doing Bidoof okay. chat right now. Ugh. Ugh. Well, are you going to fill him in on the, the funny part of the story that you told him? He could tell us on stream tomorrow. That's true, he could. Yeah. New Bidoof hat. I think oh, this... is that different from the other one? Yeah, this one, this is like an official one. It oh, looks nice. way better than the other one. Like, this is the other one. Ugh. And you make that Bidoof hat wear the other Bidoof hat? You know I can. What has science done? <laughs> okay, great. All right, Dale and Deanna, you have one more okay, day it's... before I have to call your boss to find out where my package is. It's not going to balance if I put him on the head of the other Bidoof, but he can ride on the butt of the other Bidoof. That's what Bidoof donks are for. <sighs> yeah, I'll just contact them tomorrow. It'll be super fun. Just the the post office that it's held up in. Well, I just I'm gonna contact FedEx just to make sure like it's still on the move and fine, and not actually being held somewhere and being like, hey, it's all messed up. Wait, it's it's FedEx. It's not Espus. No, it's FedEx. Weird. Mine was Espus. Yeah, they're either going to be FedEx or USPIS, but they used to do it through UPS, and then when they changed over to the other two, that's when everything got crazy, like, a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. And when Googling my problem, just finding scores of forums, just people rage but yelling about how terrible online shopping from GameStop has become. Mm. Man, you know that kind of makes sense and even if they're just like it's not coming i'll just be like can i have my money back and then i'll be okay since my computer isn't even in its final form enough to be able to super play cyberpunk i wouldn't be too upset i just don't want to flush 20 bucks down the toilet yeah man yeah i have a package coming in that i have to watch out for <laughs> so it's from an artist 
who goes by the name of Amanda Darko. She's really awesome, but don't look up her work if you're at work. Um, but the last time I ordered from her, the package showed up and it had some of her artwork on the outside of it of a very thick Patrick from Spongebob. <laughs> so <laughs> this time I was like, hey, do you think we could do some kind of discreet labeling that didn't have thick Patrick? <laughs> but she messaged me today and was like, so I shipped it and I think I maybe forgot to put the plain label on it. <laughs> so who knows what's one showing thick up. Patrick. You looking at it now? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, did you get ramen coon? I did actually. Yeah, I got a uh, ramen coon print. Yes, that is one of the things. What that I ordered? Someone's got to put their dick in soup. Indeed. Yeah, it's um. I mean, it's just like a couple of pins and a couple prints and a keychain. Are one of them of Thick Patrick? I did not get the Thick Patrick. Thick Patrick is funny, but not really like the sort of thing I collect. But. Why did you get Ramen Coon? I'm just curious. I wanted to get, like, one of hers, like, most of the stuff that I got was, like, fans, like, she'd done, like, fan work, but I wanted to get one that was, like, an original thing that was her design. Gotcha. So, and I liked that one most of, like, what was available, so. So, wait, you got Ramen Coon, or did you get Ramen Chan? I think Ramen Chan, maybe. Okay, because Ramen Coon is a, a buff naked dude laying dong in oh. a bunch of suit. <laughs> yeah, it was Ramen Chan, then. Okay, and so I was like, why why that? No judgment, just kind of curious. That doesn't really fit with the rest of your room's aesthetic. Yeah. I mean, Ramen Chan, the like bowl that she's in, has some very, very phallic flowers on the side of it. But Yeah, but it's still supposed <laughs> to be more of like a predominantly lady-focused thing. Yeah. I don't think I'd like ramen broth going up my butthole. Yeah. I mean, you never know until you try. I feel like the high amount of sodium would would do things. Nah, that'd be good. Give you'd be a nice nice little butthole cleaning. I'm glad you're my friend. <laughs> I'm glad you're my friend, too. Yay. <laughs> glad you accept me for the weirdo that I am. I love all my weird friends. Because <laughs> I know my hands are not clean. I didn't even... How, how did you know what you needed to be doing for this puzzle? I wasn't even paying attention. I was too busy thinking about ramen. <laughs> it was another music stand that had numbered symphonies on it. And then gotcha. you come in here and you can see there's like these numbers along the side and then these numbers on the front. Only all of the numbers from the symphonies are below 40. So fucking all of the statues have to be over at this end. We're gonna be gonna be pushing statues for a while. Sometimes you just gotta do that. Yep. It's just like we're playing Legend of Zelda. That's what Rogers Academy was up to today. I stopped by his stream yeah. before we started. I also was in his stream watching. Oh, nice. I, I was, like, he was in a part, and I was like, I don't remember doing this at all, where he was, like, jumping around on platforms as Wolf Link with these two other things, and I was like, man, I want to play Twilight Princess again. Man, yeah. It's been so long since I played Twilight Princess. 
Yeah, for me, it's been so long, and I played through it really fast to win that bet against our high school friends. Mm. So, like, I didn't even get to savor it, so... Yeah. Well, I know, like, one of the things I didn't do was, like, get all the bugs for Weird Bug Girl. Agatha? Yes. Because I just had to prove that I could beat the Twilight Princess <laughs> in a weekend, and I did it. But now that Skyward Sword is coming to Switch, we make Will play it, and we can finally finish that piece of shit. I mean, I could play it too. Yeah, you could play it. I remember liking it when I played it. I didn't finish it, though, but... I just remember Will and I were playing it on the Wii at his house, and we were both just like, oh my god, all of this is so dumb. I can't remember what the big thing- oh, I think Will really didn't like the fact you never give your loft wing a name. I give zero solitary shits about that. I, I mean, I agree with his stand that it's super weird that this creature that you're, like, bonded with for life is just bird. You can name it in your own head. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's still it's just weird that it's not named in game. Here's my thing: if you get to fly a bird around, you really need to put a mechanic in your game where you can make it poop on stuff. And the fact that they didn't do that—that's the real travesty. I can agree that that is worse than the name thing. But, like, it's a game that doesn't even have, like, voice acting, so, like, they could have just had it, like, where you name your horse, you can name it Epina or whatever. Yeah. Oh, what? That was a oh. lot more sound than the yeah. number of seeds exactly. that we dropped. That was true. And I'd like to hear more. I don't think that's how you show stuff to people, York. <laughs> Drop it on the ground in front of them. Oh. There's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. So, wait, is he saying this or is he type speaking it? I think the implication is that he's type speaking it. But his jaw's moving. Yeah. But how do you know all this? And it also works a lot better than the, like, York, Stephen Hawking technology. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way Man, I guess now if you important. had to talk, if you like had to use a computer to talk, you would sound like Siri or something, right? Ago, oh man. Nah, I'd sound like Sam. That's the Samsung one. Yeah, that they've already said they're not going to do in any other things because people are being too weird about it. <laughs> I, there, there's a lot of Sam content out there. How many Sam buttons do you have? I don't think I have any Sam buttons. I did get the PS5 chain, uh, keychain from Amanda Darko, though. Now, is that different than the character from Hyperdimension Neptuna? Yeah, it's it's like just people's made-up personification of the PS5. The, the, like, PlayStation person in the Neptunia universe is, um... Noir. Ah. Uh. And then the PSP person is Noir's little sister, Unigear. One could say that it was completely erased from history. Tell me, who do you think would be able to do something like that? I missed that? everything he was saying. The military. The military's involved. But if there are no records, now we have to go beat up the sergeant. How do you know it really happened? Yep. Good question, York. Why would I know 
this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. Brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter. So now I have my suspect number two after Thomas. The general. Interesting. That is a lot of water going past his house. Yeah, I mean, it's the river and a waterfall, right? What was the location in Twin Peaks that was on the waterfall? Was that the lumber mill? I thought it was the, um, the, like, hotel. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think so. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Aaron. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything. The audio mixing for this scene is not very good. Yeah. I can just hear the music super loud and can barely hear that. <laughs> The sheriff's been withholding information from me the whole time. Cheddar. Yep. Think of how much more money you would have had if you wouldn't have run over Lily. <laughs> Forty whole more dollars. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Kind of surprised we just haven't gone home and slept for a day to get his car. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Or maybe we should no, stay up past stinky. midnight. Oh. Yeah, let's go into the middle of town and then we'll make it midnight and see what happens. I should probably buy some kefef though. Kefef will be good. Get out of my way! Just grinding your car down to dust. That's how I do. I mean, by tomorrow, I'm never gonna need this car again. That is true. 
Oh man, Will, the second episode of Uramichi Unisan just came in. I don't know what that is. It's this pretty good anime about, like, this group of 30-somethings that work on a child, like, children's TV show where it's like, come on, kids, we're gonna sing or whatever, but they're all, like, emotionally, like, broken and just done with being alive after being 30, especially the main character, hmm. and he's just spending the whole time dropping very bittersweet truth bombs on little kids. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, hey, Lily. Want to let me push some boxes? That would be a weird euphemism. Agent York, just the person I wanted to see. Oh, really? It's about our story. I mean, isn't a like a box like a euphemism for a uh, vagina? I guess that's true. So I guess, yeah, pushing boxes works. Let's get one thing straight, Lily. Just for the record. I didn't come here Rob to didn't even know how much of a suave, suave lyricist he was. You know, I kind of don't feel like suave is the correct description of the phrase pushing box. Uh. Please, this will be the last time. Would you help me out? I'll give you this key as a reward. Is it related I do want that key. Maybe, maybe not. But what? I'll tell you once you've finished. Zach, she's a tough negotiator. I guess that comes from dealing with her husband and the twins. Stop giving me news, Steam. I don't care. All right, let's do it. Let's Thank get you, the mystery the key. Room is this way. I swear to God, if it's a key to your heart, Lily, I'm gonna be so done. Okay. So this time, let's. Oh. I lost a hat. That's all right. This time, Lily. Oh, fuck, damn it. I was going to look at where the boxes went. Okay, let's go back to the here. Okay. I think I see what I need to do. This one is easier than the last one. <sighs> oh crap, maybe it's not. Can I reset? Reset. Okay. So how am I going to do this? Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. I think I think I've got it now. Push this one this way first. <coughs> Push this one to the here place. Then we come over here. Oh, wait, no. Then we come over here. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. And push this one to there. Then, oh wait, crap. No. <laughs> My plans! The best laid plans of Badoof and Men's. Indeed. Okay. This is where all of Sweary's big game moments went. Yeah. Hmm. 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 
I, I feel like this is super easy. Do you? Oh wait, I may be seeing one problem because I feel like the box on the left needs to go in the middle one, and the box in the middle needs to go on the top left. Hmm. So middle box to the top left. Because you could just push it up one and then over all the way to the left. Yeah. The issue there is if I push it all the way to the top, then how do I get to the right of it so that I can push it left? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to my big stupid brain hmm. okay wait I have an idea uh, I think I also have one Let's see if we have to... yep okay yes <laughs> so I was like, well, we just push that one in and then you can move around yep Oh, wait. Oh, this is not what I was thinking. And I think I fucked it. I think you did. Reset time. Reset time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. That's the song, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what are you thinking? Well, now I'm thinking, can we, can we go to the top view really quick? Yeah. I think I might have been wrong. I was feeling part of it was pushing it in to make a path. Mm -hmm. Let me just think. So you push it in. Then you... Okay, yeah. Is I think you... Well, wait, no, that still creates the same problem. Oh, uh, push, like, the middle one in one, go up, and then push the right one down one to make an open lane. That's what I just tried. Oh. Because when I do that, then there's no way for me to push the middle one back up. Well, oh, wait, you're right. Okay activate brain time so if you move that one up there okay wait i'm having an idea okay you your big brain may have out big brain my big brain so i do this first then i do all the shit with this one Then come over here. I think this is going to work. Okay. I think I have solved the mystery of the boxes. I'm ready to become a box yard boy. Is that what they were called? Sure. Oh, so fuck. There. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, I was going to be like, how are you going to get onto the right of the box to push it forward? Ah! And that. I'm never going to get anywhere in life. I'm just going to do this for forever. Fortunately, okay. York has no way to climb over these waist-high things. Yep. All right. I've got a new idea. Let's see if I can remember it all in my head long enough to execute it. So I still think I'm doing this. And... Then I'm doing this still. I've like already forgotten what my plan is. And just, I'm sort of having to hope I get the pieces as I'm going.
Okay, Bjork, we can stop pushing. There we go. He, he likes the salt and pepper, baby. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, and then I push this one to the here. Then I push this to the here. Hmm. Because the one on the right can only go into the top right one. Yeah. Because, like, you can't get on the left side of it, so it has to go there. Yeah. And your pathway on the other side is now cut off because that box is there. And if you push that anymore, it's going to be in the corner and it's going to be stuck. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It lives there now. Okay, let's try again. Man, getting Shakespeare puzzled all over again here. Did you think this would be the game that would break your puzzle mind? I didn't. Okay. And see, it makes sense that the left one goes in the middle, the middle one goes on the left, and the right one goes on the right. So the question becomes, how do we get there? Wait, hold on. So we go in. Wait a minute. Let me go. Just see if I can get this out. Get extra oxygen to my head. That will help me to resolve this problem. Okay. I, I think I may have figured it out. All right. Okay. Is, I think you push the the middle block up, up. Okay, I was going to say, don't go do it just yet. I'm trying to talk my way through it first to make sure it's not nuts. Okay. Is middle block goes in. Okay. Then you go up and push the right block down one. Okay. Push the middle block back out into the aisle. Okay. Oh, nope. My dumb plan is dumb. I, for some reason, thought... Because I was like, oh, then you go through and just do the, the, the left one, but that would just block you off. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. This is a great block party. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. You can't. The middle one can't be put in the middle slot because you can't push it into an open spot. That blocks it off. I can't really figure out a way that you can get both of the left the, the middle and the left one in I feel like a really big idiot that's a hard box puzzle because once you put the left one the middle one into the left square that locks off your coming from the top to push that one down yeah so maybe you'd have to push that in, come over, and then push that. Nope, that still wouldn't do it. 
and so forth. Hmm. Impassable. The key, the key to this puzzle is making a loop on the right side that is possible. So if we get that one in and just close it off immediately. Oh, too big, stupid for us. Yeah, this one takes big brain. Bigger brain than we have. this will work, but maybe. And then I come over here, and I do my box spin a -rooney move, which is this. <laughs> Lily, why do you even want these boxes in these places? Your whole organization plan makes no sense. I think I've got it. All right. Oh, wait. Damn it. Yeah, I was like, I how are you going to get on the right side of the box? Ah! I think I could hear you screaming from his room. Like, it was... Like, it was coming out of his speaker so loud, <laughs> I could hear Robert from your room. I'm not oh, okay, I'm Will. I do need a hug. It's gonna burn all your merchandise, Lily. No more Hommel Biscuits for anyone. No, not the Hommel Biscuits. It's Gila May food in Hong Kong and Macau. Makes sense. And they also have moving transportation. I'll take it. So if you push that one in and then you go push the right box down one square, mm -hmm. yeah, that will make the loop accessible in the middle. Yeah. So from this position, say, well, wait now, hold on. My brain is too stupid right now. See, you're gonna, is there a place you can move this box down to without finishing the circuit and without blocking yourself? I could move it to this space. Let's try. Mm. 
Oh, now we're never going to be able to push either of these boxes out, though. Yeah, sorry. They I wasn't both referring live to the there box. now. Oh. I meant the left one. If there's a place you can push it towards the goal you needed to get it there without blocking off your access to the left loop. It can only go in these spaces here. No, like the leftmost box, not these two. Because that's you're on right and center box. Let's see, if you push this here, this lets you get out of the loop without blocking you off. Oh, but you pushed it too far. Okay. Here? No, no you I... would have just pushed it down one block. This is as far... Oh. Starting position. Oh. And that would let you get back out and come up around. Okay, I think that's part of it. I am the concurrence. Is the left one we yeah, we push that in and no push thinking the other one. only doing. And push that once. There we've opened the loop where we can get on both sides of the box with this one. Okay. And if we push the right box down one. And then we push the middle one out and run the whole loop again. We can get behind the box and start pushing it. And then we can use the loop to get on the right side of the box. I think I solved it. I think so. I am the king of puzzles! You did it, I think. Because now we do the right box, finish that up, and then we come back to get this other one. Because now we're locked off at the top, and we can go back and push yep. this one in. Uh, I seem so close to looking up a YouTube walkthrough, but I didn't give up. <laughs> well, we stuck it out, and you found the solution for us. Oh, the front right part of my forehead really hurts. Yep. Here, see, <laughs> finally shine. Your reward. The key. This key better be worth it. The key to the closet. And what does this key open? It's the key to the closet in our garage. Closet. Yes, and there's something in there that's really valuable to Keith. Oh, I'm gonna take Keith's valuable shit. Second only to his family. I don't really see it in the same light. There are lots of other things in there too, and you can help yourself. Which means this wasn't related to the investigation after all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trick you. <laughs> Is it a guitar that we're gonna get to beat people up with? You're quite a woman, Lily. That's my guess. Only you would be able to get me to clean up that storage room three times, but it's a good thing. Helping people out feels good after all, and we FBI special agents are all living and breathing heroes. Right, Zach? Thank you, Agent I think we all Don't deserve a delicious by, cookie right? now. And Indeed. Your company. Don't worry about that, Lily. I'll be back. I do not have any delicious cookies, though. I um, mean, during that whole section, I was beginning to have like a mini mental breakdown that maybe I'm just a giant idiot, and all of my thinking that like, man, I might be a smart person was just like a dumb facade <laughs> I was doing to protect myself. I think that all the time. Oh, you think that I just put up a facade all the time? No, I think that about myself all the time. Because <laughs> my brain was like, I did a I did calc two in college. Why can't I figure out where boxes go?
Time to go rob Keith. Fuck yeah. Let's see where his house is. Keith, where's your house? I'm gonna take your shit. Oh, we can also buy another map from Keith to do more ghost stuff. Oh, okay. Since you're right there anyway. Yep. Let me just look at the real map. Keith's house is there. Okay. Going back in. I'm gonna buy a ghost map. Keith. 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 Gimme give gimme give the map. Gimme the map. Oh, yo, dude. Yes. I am sure. Hey man, this map shows a station along the abandoned extended lines track. Now that was a busy place back when the lumber trade was big. No one goes near it now, you know. It's like a, a train graveyard. On top of that, some folks say they've even seen ghosts there. I don't mean one or two ghosts, man. I mean like hundreds. Every now and then, a golden opportunity comes along. Like a chance to leave home for a while and earn a lot of money. There were plenty of them at the end of the 80s. The lumber mill was severely short-handed, so they called in a lot of outside workers. But the place was failing, and indeed it died before most of the poor guys got there. So there was like a load of labor workers that had nowhere to go, no place to work, no way to get back to where they came from. A fair amount of them decided to live on the train they had rode in on. I guess that must have been hard living, living on a train car that ain't moving. What kept them in town? Ah, now, the head of the lumber mill had been lying to them. Wait just a little longer, we'll have work for you soon, you know, that kind of thing. He was just a lying scumbag. No way to rock, man, but lies. They only last so long. With each day that passed, no those unemployed wrong. guys got more angry. But then, something happened. And the timing for it was incredible. The rail car they were spending the night in just happened to catch fire. With all them inside it. Incredible timing indeed. Oh yeah, but the police couldn't find any evidence to pin it on anyone. They didn't have all those gadgets and stuff you guys got now. And the police were annoyed the unemployed guys were causing trouble. Nothing happened to the head of the lumber mill. It made the news as an accident. Hmm. But the rumor says that a large number of those boys are still living in that train car. Unaware that they're dead. Now it's time for me to put them down for a good. If you go down there by yourself. <laughs> oh man, you could kill them with fire and double traumatize them. I could. So now is it going to move the point that's been on the ghost tunnel, or is it just going to add another permanent mark to your map? Let's find out. It looks like it moved. Yep. A rag. <laughs> Let's go get my free Keith's shit first, though. Yeah, get that free Keith shit. Yep. Up. Put gas in me. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta, gotta be all gassed up if you want to have, what was it, wind babies? Yep. 
the the biggest takeaway from that stream. <laughs> Wait, no, I... Th Wait, no, oh, I don't know. Are there... Did they just put an extra marker on my map? Oh, I think they did. It yep. was hiding behind the other one. Yep. Let's see, is that the Keith's house? That is the Keith's house. We have found you, the Keith. You know, it's also the Lily's house, guys. She lives there, too. Does she? Aren't they married? I think they're divorced. Oh. It's not Lily's house, guys. She doesn't live there. But she does have a key to the closet. Second but I could be wrong. Time. I'm probably wrong. Makes sense, I guess. Rick I mean, up. Keith is saying his most Quite important nice possession is his family. I hope Keith won't mind me using this in a more. Well, I mean, his kids way. would be his family. Yeah, I guess. Well, now that's all he's got left, because I've taken his most prized possession, and I'm going to use it to bash some zombie heads in. Sounds like a good way to spend the day. I hope it makes like a bong noise when you hit somebody with it. Moi aussi. That means me too. Will never tells me French secrets. <laughs> Will, why aren't you telling CJ French secrets? What excuse could you possibly have for yourself? Probably that he doesn't really remember that much French. <laughs> oh man, he's using the code words again. That means I do not speak French. But if you say that, then you do speak French. You fluent Frenchman. Cut to <laughs> just Ace Attorney objection. <laughs> Are you going to get that new series of uh, games? Maybe. I still need to finish up the Ridge Tridge. This is a better a ridge tridge. Oh man. Oh, this is not gonna get me there, is it? Why did you say it like that? Why did I say what like what? A ridge tridge? Because that's the cool way to say original trilogy. I mean, people have been saying that for a while, Will. I mean, I've even said that. And I am a CJ. I'm coming for you, ghosts. Oh, yeah. You can't hide from me. I've heard orig the original trilogy being referred to as the Orig Tridge. I have as well. I think they even did a big goof about it on Funhouse when I used to watch that before it got all weird.
That's the famous paranormal place they talked about. Maybe I should give it a shot. I'll give or it a shot. Sh or a guitar smash to the face. Is the guitar infinite? I would think so. If it's infinite, we'll use it. And if it's not infinite, Keith is going to be sad. It is infinite. Oh, he had purple energy. Purple oh, energy, he, purple he energy. Got one of the three oh, we... infinite melee weapons. That's the second strongest one. It doesn't make guitar noises. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe I need to be taking this more seriously. Yep. There we go. Great. I'll show you Great. the meaning of purple energy. Stop shooting me with shotguns. Great. This is a serious game on serious earth. Well, it looks like they dropped some health kits. Uh, they're all shotgun shells. Oh no. Probably didn't shoot those barrels and just blow them all up. I mean, that would have been the smart thing to do. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Does the stabilizer heal me? Uh, I don't think so. I don't really remember mm -hmm. what it does. Oh, it's the one that keeps your uh, pulse rate from going up so you can sprint for a really long time or drive really fast for a really long time. Gotcha. It's been a while since you've died. It has. Do you want to top off with a mini health kit? Yeah, it would probably be smart, wouldn't it? Why is there fire in here? That's a good question. Oh man, is it the boss of Silent Hill 3 again? Oh man, God. Yep. Great. Wait, Amazing. was it just a one room? Oh, never mind. Amazing. <laughs> the fire <laughs> affects them. Is there some... You played yourselves, idiots. It's a blue item. I was like, is this just a one-room thing? Oh, God. So it doesn't look like I can go into the fire circle. Oh, well. Submission knife. Okay. Now, because remember, we just need to go back and forth through this door. Oh, is that all it is? I thought we kept going through to multiple rooms, but okay. nope. Last one was the same. We just went back and forth through the same door. Amazing, amazing. They're shot. Oh, okay. They're shot. They're shot. If only we had an infinite magnum. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm not worried. That would just make it too easy. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Ah, yes. fire idiot. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh god. Great. Bullseye. Nice shot. Nice shot. Bullseye. Bullseye. Amazing. Great. Oh, you stop having purple. Stop having nice purple nice right shot. now. Purple is too strong. It's only shotgun shells from now until eternity. Oh, this is different. Oh. Hi, Sadako. Burn her? How do you like fire? You feeling hot, hot, hot? It's a very strong. And 
indeed. Toasty. Yep. Oh. Ran out of ammo. Okay, maybe if I put it in your face, it'll die faster. How's it feel being dead? Probably doesn't feel very good. Probably. A sword? Yes. What? <laughs> like, yes. Teleport grabbed you and then just immediately died. I think because he was on fire, so he was like passively taking Great. damage. Bullseye. Great. Checks out. Nice. Great. Bullseye. Make that shot. Oh god, you're all right there. Cut that yes. shit out. Nice shot. Bullseye. Great. Bullseye. Yes. Great. You stop that. Nice shot. Great. Nice shot. He's bringing the power of purples. Yep. Ooh, cola. That will help your sleepy brain. Nice shot. Yes. Bullseye. Well, it yes. would help my sleepy brain if I had put it in my inventory instead of my toolbox. But I yeah. am a dumb. And there's nothing that can be done about it. Nice shot, yes. Except to do more explosions. I can do more explosions. That is true. Remember, kids, if someone ever tells you you can't do more explosions, <laughs> they're wrong. That is what Gandhi said. He was like, always do more explosions, and also, I love Big Macs. Yep. Classic Gandhi. Let's nuke him! Oh, there's some coffee fee. We can just drink that now and fill up your unsleepy bar. Yep. Magnum rounds! Indeed. He is pretty cool and clone high. <laughs> Great. Nice shot. But in all the time I played Civ, I still have never been nuked by nice. Gandhi. Or even been threatened with nukes by Gandhi. He's yeah. just always been pretty chill. Until I start taking over his country with my blue jeans and rock and roll music. <laughs> Are we at the end, or is there more zombie? Okay, there's more zombie. Great. Great. In your head. Nice shot. Amazing. Bullseye. I mean, I mean, that's just in all of the civs, Gandhi is nuke crazy. that better or worse than if he was baby crazy uh, for just being in the game I think that's probably worse yeah because if Gandhi's just like I don't have time for all this culture victories I gotta take care of my babies <laughs> then that's just a benefit for me well no Gandhi's trying to get you to get him pregnant oh then that's worse yeah because I, because I don't want it, like, to get Gandhi pregnant. So I feel like, if he thought, oh, health mm. kits, health uh, kits, and this just popped up. Nope, oh, that didn't work. What popped up? Oh, that. Yay! Oh, hi, Sadako again. Yeah, you've been goofed. But I would feel like. I would need to set boundaries 
like as long as the game gives me the option to be like, I'm sorry, Gandhi, I don't want to get you pregnant. Yeah. Yes, get that bait worm. I did get that bait worm. Now we can catch Tabutha. Indeed. But if the game wouldn't let me tell Gandhi great, I didn't great. want to impregnate him, then I feel like yes. all of our di diplomacy great. would be based on this charade I was playing in yes. order to not I shot mm -hmm. put my Please. seed in him. Yeah. I mean, Amazing. the thing is, like, Gandhi's telling you, like, he's on birth control and shit, great. so you think it's fine. I, I shot But he's not. So wait, I... I... So I don't know he's baby crazy. I'm yeah, you don't know. Amazing. He's he's playing you. Yeah. Well, I think as soon as Gandhi was like, "Hey, I'm on birth control, so you can't get me pregnant," I would be immediately suspicious. Mm-hmm. And I think, as a general rule, as a leader of a country, I shouldn't be having sex with the leaders of other Great. countries. Bullseye. I mean. I Maybe, Great. but like. I mean, that's just my personal stance. Okay, so l let me make the case the other way. There's okay. like always a problem when like a boss is sleeping with an employee, Bullseye. right? Because there's like a power mm -hmm. dynamic that's not equal yes. there. And as yeah. the leader of a nation, everyone is your employee. So the only person who you really can have an equal power dynamic with is the leader of another country. But as a leader of the country, I am also all of my citizens' employees because they voted for me. So they also still can't have sex with you because they're your boss. But we're both each other's bosses and we're both each other's employees. We're equal. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I think you got to be sleeping with other world leaders. But after I've defeated Gandhi in the big game of politics, he would then become my employee anyway. Unless he tricks you into getting him pregnant. But I... Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> Is this an infinity shotgun? Infinite shotgun! Hell yeah. Should have picked up all those rounds. <laughs> yeah. Have we ever used a gun in this game that required ammo? I thought you used the shotgun. Like. No, I don't think so. I accidentally sent it directly to the toolbox, and then I forgot to ever grab it out. Uh, then yeah, I don't think we have. The only one we might use is the Magnum. Yeah. Uh, and it says you can just go right back to Keith and buy the next map, and he'll have a second quest because you have his guitar. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much money I lose for hitting him with his own guitar. There's only one way to do that, science. Indeed. And is the way to do that science by having unprotected sex with Gandhi? You're very close, but no. I wonder how close we are to being stinky, though. I feel like we're pretty close to being stinky. Yeah. Should... Also, all of your uh, food and sleepiness came back. Because mm. I guess I was wondering, should we just, like, stay up to midnight at this point, and then... Sure. Okay. And then, yeah, we can do the quest at Notre Dame. That's no language at all for another day. Well, I would say before waiting, try to go back and 
by the map because it might be one of those things where you can't get two quests from him from like two different quest lines in the same day so okay see whether sense. or not he has the map for the other one because of this game's weird <laughs> thing with how time works yeah Oh, uh, Emily's car has the Nas. It does. Oh, man. Oh, pinky cheese. My York car is going to have the most Nas. It will. Then we can finally do all the races. Yep. all the trading cards and then go back to Panda Boy and be like, give us the final weapon. Yeah, we could do that. I'm not I really just, sure I if I want to it. collect every trading card, but... Oh, I'd say if you were going to do that, just do it off stream. <laughs> the final weapon is cool and I really liked it, but... I think with infinite guns and then the infinite guitar, you're probably fine. Yeah. It's yeah, I just, just don't know that I would have. get, like, enough from it. Like, it being neat, I don't know that that justifies to me the time that it would take to get. But. But I don't even know if we can. Like, I think you. Well, because the other thing is you'd have to go back and just do all the story yeah. missions in the previous chapters. <sighs> Yo, dude. You got another map, Keith? There are no other maps. There right. are legend worms, though. Nice. If you talk to him, does he do anything? Uh, let's find out. <sighs> Yo, dude. My kids are being tested, I know. But they'll be fine. The love of me and Lily can get them through anything. Right, FBI? Okay, and now it's science time! How do you like getting hit in the face with your own guitar? Just brandishing, oh. at, him, brandishing it at him cost me $40, but now I can slam a jam the shit out of him and it does not cost any extra. Well, you cannot actually do his last quest. Oh, because we missed something earlier? Or, well, no, it says you must complete quest 21. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I've uh -oh, lost some money okay. now. Yeah, you you can't do his quest, The Bond Between Men. Gotcha. Oh, well. Because you had to wait until they were both home on a rainy day and then pick up the thing and it would give you an option to either keep the guitar or give mm. it to Keith and become his best friend forever. I'm keeping the guitar. Your friendship means nothing to me, Keith. Damn. Okay. So now let's find out what happens at midnight. Is it that KK Slider comes to town and plays some sweet jams? Did you ever get the key to the back door of the diner? Yeah, we got that during the main quest, didn't we? Yeah, did you ever do that? Yeah. Oh, did you use it to go into the diner? Oh, I guess I don't know if we used it to go in the diner. Yeah, I don't you know. Get some more cigarettes out of your toolbox. Yeah, I guess so. Because uh, there's a whole little side quest arc with Nick in jail. Gotcha. Smoking till midnight. Just smoking a shitload of cigarettes. No, a shitload of cigarette. Yeah. 
He never smokes more than one and never the whole thing at a time. I guess that's true. I'm going to stop it just before midnight. So we'll have like a couple minutes to wait, but that way... Let's see the time. Actually, no, it'll turn red once it hits midnight, I think. But I gotta, gotta put some food in my guts. I can just eat a raw catfish. Should I just eat a raw catfish? Do it. I ate a raw catfish. Sometimes you just gotta eat raw catfish. That is what they say. And I have drunk the cafe. And now let's just do some spin moves until midnight. Is the thing that happens going to be really noticeable to me? Uh, yeah. I don't, like, I, I hope I didn't oversell. It's not going to be something, like, super amazing. Okay. It's just a neat thing. Cool stuff. Slick stuff. Neat stuff. Yes. Have you ever seen that video? No. <laughs> it's this, like... Oh... Link, the blood moon rises. Indeed. What does this mean? This feels like zombies are going to come at it any minute. Oh, yep. They are. And they can climb onto your car and damage it. Oh. But you can also run them over for money. I can indeed run them over for money. Well, neat. But yeah, a video was like a video from when Garth Brooks got on Facebook and he just put out this like really weird, awkward, like introductory video. And he talks about how he wants to put cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. Can you go to Galaxy of Terror now? Uh, we can try. We've been there before. Yes, but have we been there? Not during, during the, the nice plot. Times? Yeah. All right. You're getting a lot of money for running people over. I really am. Oh I damn! My it, car's oh, down twenty four percent though. Zombies do, you do see the what beat happens damage. When your car hits zero? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ed does not look like I can get in unless I can go through. Oh, okay. I can't go through here. I wonder if Thomas is hanging out. There is not a Thomas. Well, he's missing right now in the plot, isn't he? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't remember. I think so. Maybe the thing I'm thinking of is actually a plot occurrence. Hmm. Uh oh, it's guitar time. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Oh, are you gonna shovel Carol? <laughs> I wasn't gonna shovel Carol, even though she hit and runned me. Yeah, I thought you're gonna be like, "Can you dig it, Carol?" And then you would shoot her in the face with a shotgun. Yeah. All right, well, let's break our car on the way to the motel, or hotel, or brotel. Holiday Inn. The holiday end of this car's life. <laughs> Prepare to die, zombie. So 
So that did four damage. So you should be able to hit five more. Yep. Got him. Oh, that did five damage. That is a big boy. I hope I'm right with remembering what happens. <laughs> Any more movie talk? Band talk. Some zombies want to come give me a hug? I don't even need the zombies. You can make your own zombies. I can. There's like a What the fuck was that? I don't know. That was a Oh, enormous. fuck! That's like a giant zombie dog. And we're at 0% car health. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, are we in danger? I think we might be in donker. I don't know if you're invincible right oh, now God. because you're still talking about music. There what? we go. Am I going to have to go back to our last load point? Probably. I wish I had known that before I destroyed well, I didn't this think car. You were die. Why didn't you just save when you were talking to Carol? Oh my God. How far back are we? Or did I just go to the hospital? Well, what weapons do you have? Why wouldn't you okay. just cycle through I your do weapons? have the shot. I don't know, because I'm dumb. <laughs> I think you just went to the hospital. Okay. Is I thought I remembered, but I, something went very wrong with that. Is mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure your car is supposed to explode and just throw you out of it into the road and, like, you don't die. Gotcha. I remember that happening. Like, York does like the big whoa explosion out through <laughs> the front of the car, but that went very wrong, and you were, for some reason, like at zero health for a really long time. Yeah. Well, maybe luckily it was you of the only zombie lost dog. a small amount of your infinite money. So yeah. Hopefully, this has enough gas to get back to the hotel. I mean, it's morning now, but I guess we should change our clothes. Yeah, I'm sure you're stinky as hell. But how much longer do you want to go, bud? Uh, we could call it at 8 if you want. Sounds good. Or even just when we get back to the hotel. Well, I'm fine with seeing where we are at 8. Do you remember what time you talked to the general? I do not. Because I think you have to actually wait 24 hours. It wasn't just a next day sort of thing. Gotcha. Oh, it is raining today, though. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, you can go I talk already... to those chitlins. Yeah. Did I already pass the hotel, though? I think I did. I have... I have no idea where... Oh, you vandalized something. Well, I'll vandalize more shit. Try and stop me. Dale Cooper took a dark turn. I totally forgot about the giant murder dogs. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting giant murder dog. But now that I've seen it, I think I remember, like, I never fought them, but I think when I saw the two best friends do it, like, they got out and shot it and actually wasn't that strong. Mm. It's just a dog that they stretched. <laughs> Hi, Kason. Oh. 
He's he just some heal juice. Mm, yeah. What the fuck? I was just at the hospital. Y'all didn't patch my movie. shit up. They got you back to life and were like, good enough. I guess so. Very dirty. Yep. Now, while you're here, do you want to put the shovel away? Sure. Just, I don't know, just to have room for other stuff you might find that might be cool. I feel like there was something else to get out of here. Oh, it was the cola, that's what it was. Toolbox is full. Can I just throw the shovel in the trash? Yeah, you just toss it over your shoulder. Go to the trash. That's where you live now. You can finally use all those med kits you sent to the toolbox. Yeah. I love Forest of Rain Fillover. Oh, I need to put an epilepsy warning on the stream. <laughs> okay, yep, we'll get our health kits. Then we'll eat some of the health kits. These are solid plans. What if instead I eat some of the health kits? That could also work. And by health kits, I mean, I assume you mean healthy fox babies. Oh. Sure. Actually, no, I would never eat a fox baby. But you just said you would. It's too late now. I lied. I admit to being a liar. Oh. But if you just admit to being a liar, it's no fun and we can't build a bit over the course of years. I'm not going to do a bit where I eat fox babies. I'll do a bet where we have unprotected sex with Gandhi, but hurting baby foxes is crossing the line. What if they just died of natural causes and then you ate them? Unacceptable. What if they wanted you to eat them? Then I will invest in a therapist to help them out. That seems ridiculous. You're not even willing to invest in a therapist to help you out. Nope, but I'll do it for baby foxes. What if that therapist is pregnant Gandhi? That's fine. If he can help the baby foxes out, that's all I care about. That will be your ranching as we make a bunch of food shaped like baby foxes and you have to eat it. Is it like baby fox cookies? Uh, we can do cookies. Um, I'm trying to think what uh, we could do cupcakes in the shape like a, like a cup a cupcake like a mosaic in mm -hmm. the shape of a baby fox. Yeah, I mean if I can trick you into making me baked goods, then I'll do it. Yeah, and they totally won't be filled with beads. Oh, you fucks. I mean, the joke's on you there, because, like, you're going to think it's funny at first, but then you're going to feel guilty, because I'm just going to be in pain. I, I think I would feel definitely some guilt, but then I would also feel some, like, okay, I'm getting data for science, for my own science, to know, like, what does this actually do? Or it happens the other way, where I blend it up in such a way you don't even notice, and then I get to pull my mask off and be like, ha ha, it was all in your head this whole time. 
Unless something about the preparation of baking them changed the molecular structure of the beans. But then that's fine. That just means you can then eat beans as long as I make them that way. If you make beans by baking them into a cupcake. Well, if the cupcake wouldn't change them, because I would mash them up and put them into the thing anyway. So once I figure out how to make this magical no-hurt bean paste, or like sweet red bean paste... That's a flavor that I've come to like more. I don't remember what the name of those things are. It's, is it takoyaki? I think so. The thing where it's like the fish? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I really like those. I've never had one. Oh, that looks like a uh, my car. She slammed right into it. I dodged it. Oh, I know, but it was like, oh, look at my car, and then it just... Bleh. I really like the ice cream versions of those. Hmm. Wait, well, what did the license plate fast. say? This one is a weird one, and if I tell you it, it'll be a spoiler. Okay. You, It's like, it's not one where you can read it and know what it is. It's if you know what all the letters mean. Gotcha. It's but not like end, sperm mom. Lose circle a few blocks and turn home. Hardly worth starting the engine for, really. The general did a good job, though, didn't he? Time now to wreck cool. this shit up again. Infinite speed. Oh, it has infinity durability. Holy shit, yes. And like with are you have, were you using Nas just then? Nope. You were already almost hitting 100 without the Nas. Oh, it just plays the racing music the <laughs> yep. whole time. All right. So nope. now we'll, will it play the racing music twice because when you raced in the Rockabilly car, it also played the Rockabilly music kind of in the background. Mm. Well, let's find out. That could be a good thing to go out on. Sounds good. I think you'll be able to go fast enough to do it. Just ask it. But if you like it, I won't stand it. Oh, and the switch crashed. Well, that's a perfect time to go out. Yep. And I'm. I don't think I saved at the hotel because I'm dumb. Please tell me I saved. Well, I'll figure it out. But anyways. Yep. I would recommend checking before next stream. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. And Will will be playing a brand new game. Indeed. Playing the long dark. Yep. Thank you to we'll everyone. This on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And yep. Until next time. Yes, yes. Bye. Bye.